President Joe Biden said Monday the Secret Service needs more help following an apparent second assassination attempt against former President Donald Trump. And he called on Congress to provide more resources to the agency. Thank God the president's okay, Biden said to reporters as he left the White House for Wilmington, Delaware Monday morning. The one thing I want to make clear, the service needs more help. And I think the Congress should respond to their needs, he added. U.S. Secret Service agents opened fire Sunday after seeing a man with a firearm near Donald Trump's West Palm Beach Golf Club in Florida while the Republican presidential candidate was golfing. Trump is safe and no injuries are reported. Officials say the man was apprehended after fleeing in an SUV. The potential attempt on Trump's life came nine weeks after the Republican former president was grazed by a bullet at a rally in Pennsylvania. It cast a pall over a presidential race that was already marked by upheaval. And it comes as early voting begins in some states. I think they, thank God, the president's okay. I think we got a full report so far. We're down there tonight. But one thing I want to make clear, the service needs more help. And I think the Congress should respond to their needs if they, in fact, need more services. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Are you, Are you concerned? They need more they need money. Or, or, they need more uh, personnel. They need more money. What kind of help do you think? I, I think need? we need some more personnel. I think they may need, they may, the, deciding whether they need more personnel or not. Are you At least 41 people were wounded Sunday afternoon when a Russian aerial bomb struck a multi-story residential building in Kharkiv, Mayor Ayer Terekov said adding that the guided bomb hit the 10th floor of the building, with the fire spreading across four stories. Twelve other buildings were also damaged, he said. Residents looked on as firefighters tackled a blaze high up in the multi-story building. One affected resident, Victor, said, I have no apartment, everything is burning. He continued, everything is burned, everything is on fire, everything is destroyed. Now, I am as I am. I have nothing left. Another resident, Ted Anna, recounted the moment the strike hit. I was shocked. I got up, got dressed. People started screaming, and I went outside, she said. Meanwhile, two people died in a missile attack on the Ukrainian Black Sea port city of Odessa, local officials said, as Moscow and Kiev exchanged drone and missile attacks. The Ukrainian Air Force said Sunday it shot down 10 of the 14 drones and one of the three missiles Russia launched overnight. Мені жити ніде. На даний момент мені жити ніде. Все згоріло, все палає, 
все выгорело. Все, вот я где, так ты где. Все, больше ничего у меня все выгорело. Все, что вам сказать, я ушел. Я никогда не думал, что туда прилететь, именно в этот район и в мой дом прилететь. Thank you. 